love to eat and it's almost our pastime and we can consider it a pastime. But unfortunately, we don't realize how much gets wasted during the food chain. In fact, 1.3 billion tons of food is wasted every year. We know where it ends up on our plates, but where does it come from? Does it come from a market? Uh, yes, it does. Actually, there's a wet market just behind the corner around here. So I'll make it take you back. Right? Yeah, that'd be great. We decided to do an experiment to see if food is really that expensive. So we pulled together some money to go on our food journey. With the little money that we have, it was obvious that we could only afford local products. We decided to go nearer to a food source, hoping that perhaps food will be cheaper, as cooking with local ingredients would mean saving on resources. We are heading to Tanjong Karang, the rice bowl of Selangor. We know for a fact that food from here is sent to the markets in the city. So does that mean it's cheaper? We are here at Tanjung Tarang at a wet market to see what we can find for the same amount that we found in KL. With the balance from the 80 ringgit we pulled together, we're trying to buy enough for a sumptuous dinner. Food wastage is high in urban areas due to the difference in income levels. More food gets thrown out every day, causing uncalled for waste. When food is wasted, two other vital commodities also go to waste. The energy used to produce food and water necessary for producing and cooking food. Malaysians are throwing away up to 930 tons of unconsumed food daily. This is equivalent to us throwing away 93,010 kilo bags of rice each day. Homestays give city dwellers a chance to breathe fresh air and take part in their daily activities. So we're here at Kampong Sungai Siri to do just that. Agricultural produce is the main income earner. This includes palm oil. Keluasan untuk kawasan Tanjung Karang ni sawah padi lebih kurang 18,000 hektar. 18,000 hektar. Dan tanaman kedua terbesar kelapa sawit lah macam yang tuan-tuan ada kat kebun sekarang ni. Jadi untuk dalam satu bulan kita akan collect dua kali. Okey. Mungkin dalam pertengahan bulan dan juga akhir bulan. Ya, orang kata kita akan cantas pelepah-pelepah uh, yang orang kata mengganggu untuk pembasaran dia. Okay, bila kita tak buang, buah akan jadi kecil. So ni ada siapa-siapa nak boleh ke, nak kait ke? Here I am and I'm looking at these palm oil seeds and it's just amazing these vibrant colours that surround them and we've just found out that you can use this to make the palm oil that we get to cook or even to make our cosmetics. Today, 4.49 million hectares of land in Malaysia is under oil palm cultivation. Malaysia is one of the largest producers and exporters of palm oil in the world, accounting for 11% of the world's oils and fats production and 27% of export trade of oils and fats. The other income earner in Tanjung Karang is vegetables and they are sold at the market. It takes months for the seeds to grow and mature. It's hard work harvesting. It takes me 15 minutes to harvest 10 strands and at the same time, the muktiks can bundle up to 2 to 3 kilos of long beans. Homestay host, Maktik Fauzia, has an edible garden in her backyard. The food, mostly vegetables, is harvested to serve her guests. This is the pokok-pokok that I have planted in the back of my house. Tujuannya uh, untuk makan sendiri uh, dan selebihnya dijual. Kalau ada tetamu daripada bandar, uh, kita akan hidanglah, masak dan hidang untuk tetamu. The season of rice planting is here and we lend a helping hand in paddy planting. Guided by Park Rashid, I'd say we did pretty well. Rice is one of the leading food crops in the world. It is also a staple food for Malaysians. And from finely milled rice comes rice flour. Rice flour is used to make most of Malaysia's local quays and delicacies. 
Speaking of delicacies, Magna showed us how to make tapung pelita, a traditional kueh made using rice flour and coconut milk. We even helped make banana leaf casings. When Magna did this, it looks so easy, but when I try, it's really hard. Having experienced so much in a day, we finally settled down to prepare dinner with the local ingredients we bought from the market. This meal that they are cooking is for 10 people, and the best part is it's all locally grown. We've all done it at some point, throw away good food that we think is no longer fit for consumption. But we've also tucked into stale food we assumed was fresh, upsetting our stomachs in the process. The line between food safety and wastage isn't always clear cut. Throw and you're wasteful. Keep and you run the risk of jeopardizing your health. So, we really need to be mindful not to waste food. Great job guys, let's eat! <laughs>